Hello, my name is Noel del Pilar, photographer, live streamer, and content creator for EuroLive. Today I'm going to show you how to update your in-stream in an easy way, step by step. First, be sure that you are connected to the Wi-Fi or Ethernet connection. Next, let's check what software do you have installed in your in-stream. To verify if I am connected to my Wi-Fi, before the update, I can go here, Network Settings, Wi-Fi, and I can see the Wi-Fi name. Just to verify, it's connected. So we are ready to download the update. But before installing the new software, I want to know what software actually I have in my in-stream. Just click in About Device, and here we can see the in-stream 1.7.0 and the firmware version 1.7.0 as well. So let's start the update. So now you can see in this window the announcement of the new update. This is the version 1.8.0, now available. What's new? Support simultaneous live streaming on two platforms. So let's install it. So let's go to the menu to install the software. Just click in here. Then go to version and click upgrade. So now you can see again this window version 1.8.0 and just click install to proceed with the upgrade. Remember, do not turn off your in-stream during this process. We can see that the firmware is updating as well. Some software updates include a firmware update, so we just need to wait. Remember to not turn off your in-stream during this process. If you do that, you can be in a problem, okay? <laughs> the new software is already in our e-stream, but before doing some tests, let's do a reboot just in case. Right here in Restore Factory Settings, now let's click Reset and Reboot. Erase all data factory reset, yes. The first step is to go to your Wi-Fi settings and find your Wi-Fi and write your password. Network settings, Wi-Fi, right here, and connect. I am already connected to the Wi-Fi. Now we need to sign in in our EuroLife account. So we are ready with the in-stream. Now I am going to test this new software. So we are going to go live in two platforms, maybe Instagram and Facebook, in vertical mode, obviously. I just realized that then when you reset the in-stream, you have to sign in to your social accounts as well. So have your account, your password information, like your password close to you. Many times they will ask you for account verification codes for security, etc. So if you are going to make a live stream, you should verify all that in advance. Now you will see this new window that tells you, please open an app first. We start in a single platform, in this case Instagram as always, but don't go live yet. Now we are going to set up the second platform. 
To add the second platform, you will click on this new tab and you will see that the platform that you already have ready goes to the right side and you can add the second platform. In this case, I choose Facebook. Now I can go live on Facebook as always, but in vertical mode and can click go live to the Instagram platform that I have next to the side. Now I am connected and live on both platforms at the same time. Instagram on one side and Facebook in the other side. And the Instream let you know that you are connected to two applications at the same time. As you can see, I can live stream on Instagram and Facebook vertical mode at the same time. I am very happy with this update. If you want to learn more about the Instream or any other Yellow Life product, just visit the YouTube channel and also visit the Facebook group. There are many members right there ready to help you. My name is Noel del Pilar, photographer, live streamer, content creator for Yellow Life. See you next time. Thank you.